slowed down. He's got blood pressure. Sorry, pal. And stop calling me pal. Let's eat, then we'll talk. It's on. I'm going to look up an old friend called Danny Kane. I mean, I'd come in with you and I've got to meet this fella in the West End in half an hour. I'll be OK. Marina Cortina. Of Care of Paradise Club. The uh, address is on there. Care of Paradise, Paradise Club. Club. There I was, halfway through Bye Bye Blackbird, when suddenly one of my stilettos got the better of me and over I went. Take a seat, please. Yeah. Over here, Bill. Evening dress at this time of day. I feel such a fool. Mm. Mm. You feel a fool? Oh. Falling over my own feet like that, I'll never live this down. Don't if I would either. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. you okay? Not really. Good to see you, Danny. Been a long time. Yeah, 20 odd years. I mean, wonderland in a wonder world, Daniel. 76 individual dwellings, each designed in keeping with the ethnic style of the area. Mud huts. <laughs> well, one or two refinements that aren't exactly standard to your African village, like air conditioning, showers, slide away roof, so you can lie under the splendors of the southern skies, look up at the stars, and if the mood takes you, make love by moonlight. The man works his lyrical changer. He really does. It's my dream, Danny. Five years I've been working on this project. Long time. You should see it at night. Your kids would love it. Lions, leopards, water buffalo, elephants. It's magical. Better than any wildlife program you see on telly. <laughs> Silver River is going to be the place for the international set. Africa, Danny. It's the continent of the future. Listen, this is probably boring you rigid. It's my obsession, you see. Magnificent obsession. Thanks. Here, listen. I've got a rush. I've got a banker's meeting, Dan. No change, do you? How's that? Harry and Harry, we called him at school. Always on the Harry up. Salmon Street Secondary. He was a good mate to me, Dan. I used to wear glasses in them days. Had a few run-ins with the school bullies. But Dan always sorted them out, didn't you, Dan? A long time ago. I had to give it up. What? Smoking. Doctor's orders. Yeah. You're not doing yourself any favours, you know. I'm old enough to smoke. No, I don't think it's cigarettes. I mean, what happened to you? I told you it was an accident. Geraldine. 
I know that you think that I'm an old tosser, but uh, I know what marks the fist leaves. You're not the first person I've seen beaten up. Accidents happen. We've all got to make our own way, but nobody needs to get smacked in the face. You should tell the police. No, no police. Our accountants reckon they guarantee 100% return within 12 months. Frankly, I think we're being optimistic, but the figures do look very convincing. Yeah, but well, at school you always did reckon that two and two made five. <laughs> school of life, Danny. School of life. In Africa, though. <laughs> Dodgy. Now, uh, listen. Whoever winds up running the place, they're still going to need holidays. Tourist dollars, Danny. It's the stuff of life to developing countries. Well, maybe we should talk some more. Hey, listen. I just wanted to let you know that you weren't the only successful businessman to come out of that school. Business is business. Could be difficult. What? Well, we're turning down a lot of potential investors. Look, I'll tell you what, if you're serious, take a look at this. And maybe, and it's only a maybe, I might be able to get you in. Depends on the partners. I'm interested. Well, take your time. Prudence is a virtue when it comes to cash, Danny. It always makes me sad when I read those little bits in the paper. You know, girl found dead in hotel room. Doesn't take a genius to read between the lines. I can look after myself. Good. Because you're going to have to, working for those escort agencies. I'm all right. Um, what do you want on your toast? No, uh, nothing, thanks. I've got to go. Thanks. Be careful. My God, Tam Gillespie. Who? Tam Gillespie, the chauffeur. Drove a getaway car in 1981, took a wrong turn and ended up in a river. No wonder he switched to show for him. Yeah. So what do you think of Harry's scheme then? Sounds like a winner. Yeah. Interesting fellow, Harry. Seems to have done all right for himself. Was a right little thief at school. We always thought he'd go crooked. But maybe he did. Well, that's what we got to find out, isn't it? Some of these days, you're gonna miss me, honey. Some of these days You're gonna feel so lonely You're gonna miss my hugging You're gonna miss my kissing You're gonna miss me, honey When you're away Oh, I'm glad you're here. Look, I could, I could use some help. You need professional help for thinking up a thing like this. What's wrong with the Princess of Paradise contest? Well, if you don't know, mate, I'm not going to tell you. Remember, honey, you had your way. Are they boats and all? Are they just auditioning at the look-alike contest? It's a bit indelicate to ask. Indelicate? John Joe, I've got some calls to make. Some of these days. My feet are killing me and I just need somewhere to sit down. Yeah, well, you'll have to get your own flat then, won't you? Look, I'm sorry, but you know the score. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but you know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. So, put your hands together for the oh-so-lovely Royal X. Hotel. I knew it was you. A long time, eh? I'm just leaving. Ah, uh, you're still a wee nippy sweetie, eh, Daddy? So how come Barry Vincent's got you on board? Oh, he done me a good turn, did Mr. Vincent. I'm telling you, I was on my last legs when he gave me this job. Pulled me right out of the gutter, so he did. Still, you've not done so bad yourself, eh? Joe, give this chauffeur a drink, will you? A large brandy, please, pal. Could you put a wee drop of vodka in it? You got it, my man. 
<laughs> Old acquaintance, best forgot. I'm off. Uh, know my brother Long of you? Oh, hi. We're old pals. If you're auditioning, join the queue. Well, what brings you in? I heard a whisper something peculiar was going on. I thought I'd come and see for myself. Hello, Tam. Sorry, uh, have we met? Let me refresh your memory. Criminal damage to a vending machine, 76. Theft of a frozen turkey from Tesco, 77. Drunken disorderly and attempted robbery of an off-license. Uh, here we go, Mr. Memory Man strikes again. I don't even remember all that lot. What are you doing here? Sorry? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question, pal. Don't tell me you're getting up the police and you're taking up a life as a drag queen, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I might nick you again just for old time's sake. Oh, no, don't do that. I'm working uh, as a chauffeur. God forbid. Weren't you the only getaway driver to get done for drunk driving? Uh, no, thank you. I'm working for this great guy, Harry Vincent. And I have written my memoirs. Your memoirs? Uh, you haven't done anything except time. That's why the book's called Remembrance of Time Done. <laughs> Good, eh? And you know what as well? Who should turn out to be an old pal of my bosses, but someone I shared a cell with yonks ago... Danny Kane. How'd you know that? I know everything. Almost. Silver River? Very sound. Expected completion date in about 18 months. Yes, quite a few of our clients have expressed an interest in it. Oh, it's certainly a fly-by-night organisation. I'm not going to lose my savings. See, I'm a cautious man, Mr Wilson. I'm more your post office building society type. <laughs> well, none of us wants to lose money, eh, hey, Mr. Kane? But I can reassure you, Silver River will be every bit as safe to invest in as that building society of yours. Thomas John Gillespie, AKA Tam the Bam. Crazy Gillespie, mad Tam. 74 previous. For everything from fair dodging to ABH. Well, well, well. What a very interesting boss our Tam has found himself. Tell me, love. Hi. How's it going down the club? Oh, don't ask. If Mark could see what Frank's doing at that place, she'd turn in her grave. She'd probably just laugh. I doubt it. Do you remember Harry Vincent? Yeah, what's about him? Well, he popped in today out of the blue, made me a business proposition. What kind of business? Well, he wants me to invest in some leisure complex. Now, I've checked it out. It all seems legit. Harry Vincent always gave me the creeps. It was the way he looked at me. Well, he probably just fancied you like the rest of us. Michael. Nesbitt, so what's the big panic? Um, I keep keying in some chap's name. And each time, this is all I get. So it's classified, so what? Well, I was just wondering, who is this man, and why is it that only SO13 can get the SP on him? What's it to you anyway? He has connections with a known criminal on my patch. Give us the details, we'll sort it out. When you refuse to give me details? Yeah. It's not really your scene, this is it. I expect you're more at home giving local kiddies talks about road safety, eh? Take my advice. Forget you ever heard of Harry Vincent. Come on. I'll catch you later, Mr. Buckle. I have a couple of things to see to here. I'm sorry, Mr. Nesbitt. Right boy, Jarvis, I used to say. Deserves all the promotion he can get. I made a fool of myself lobbying on your behalf. And I appreciate what you did. I'm sorry about the way you were just spoken to. So, who's Harry Vincent? You're doing it all wrong, Samantha. You're supposed to not mash up the other cars. No, you're not. You're supposed to see how many you can get. Gotcha. Not bad. Not bad at all. You could get yourself a job as Hitman. I am a Hitman. God. Snippy. All right. 
I had a very interesting meeting this morning with Harry Vincent, remember? Vaguely. Yeah, he wants me to invest in some holiday leisure complex scheme of this. I should check that out very carefully, if I were you. Even as we talk. We've been told to lay off, not to jeopardise diplomatic relations. There was a memo and it came right from the top. Don't get involved. Oh, of course not. Well, I'll be too busy anyway. Helping little old ladies across the street. Ah, oh, so it's legitimate, is it? Well, it's down a straight and narrow path. Yeah. Ah, the fruits of honest toil. Just what you need. Next week. All right. Now, I am appalled. Look, it's just like the leisure. You've got to have discipline. The man has fallen down on his job. But in front of the kids. They're not looking. But that's not the point. I'm doing my best. Best, eh? I prefer better. Audrey at the agency isn't pleased. She reckons you still have commission from your last job. This is what I got on my last job. Do you think she wants her 20% on this? Don't well, these things happen? Not to me, they don't. One punted house of how many? Hundreds? It's one too many. I'm jacking it in. To do what? Beg. Go on the dole again. You haven't even got a place of your own. I mean, I don't mind putting it up for a bit longer, but... Well, if you want your own flat, you're gonna have to keep on working. He was just unlucky. It won't happen again. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place now, does it? Silver River? Yes, he is. One moment. I'll see if he's free. It's Mr. Kane. Regret this, Danny. You backed a winner. Watch out. I'd be careful of that if I were you. Someone round here sees you with that lot, you could get mugged. <laughs> hey. hey! I don't believe it. Yes, I heard a rumor you'd had a crisis of faith. What? Oh, no, it's just so I'm in a different line of business these days. I run a dance hall. Hey, why don't you come and have a look for yourself? Then we have a good old chat about the old days, eh? Yeah, it's great to see you. Not one note for the National Bank of Toy Town? <laughs> and in exchange, one cast iron contract. I hope so. Makes me proud, this Danny. You and me in business together. Gonna make you a rich man, this. Just as long as you keep your side of the bargain. Hey, you can't trust old mates. Who can you trust? Dead ones, Harry. Dead ones. <laughs> Considerably, but there you are. When you have a vocation, you have to follow wherever it takes you. Developing nations, southeast London, a missionary post, or a dance hall. Who can tell what God has up his sleeve for us? Hang on, there's somebody I want you to meet, my brother. Um, Danny, uh, hang on a minute. I want you to meet Monsignor Flynn. Remember I told you what a big influence he was on me when I was in the seminary? You remember? Yeah. Give him a drink. On the house. What's up? You seen a ghost or something? No. A demon. Is 
somebody been sitting on our tail for the past ten minutes and he doesn't seem inclined to overtake. Aye. Right. I've noticed that too. Well, maybe your friend Danny Kane doesn't he trust you. Look, I pay you to drive, not make personal comments. Didn't you say you were a getaway driver once? Aye. Right. Well, get away. Out, Bobby Crush. Mwah. I loved your middle eight. Monstrous. That's the only word for the man. If you'd worked in the rural areas of southern Africa like I have and seen the victims, you'd feel the same. Children of eight and nine, some of them. Gunned down as so-called terrorists. So who exactly is he supplying? Mostly resistance groups with leanings to the right. I've heard rumours he gets finance from various governments, unofficially, of course. They bailed him out when he came unstuck in Mozambique a few years ago. Lost all his money and was lucky to get away with his life. And he's still doing this? Almost certainly. What exactly is Danny's connection, Frank? No, you do what you like. That's your business. We're simply an introduction agency. Yes, certainly. Just quote your card number and a girl will be sent right down to you. Okay. Bye. About bloody time too. Where have you been? That last bloke you sent me to, he did this. Don't give me that. Some junky boyfriend did it more like. Now you're trying to put the finger on one of the clients. Where's the money you owe us? Have you got anything for me? You've got to be kidding. What client's going to want to be seen dead with you, looking like that? Palm skin, what'll I do for money? Don't ask me. Come back when those bruises don't show. Right, now you can hop it. Well, go on, I said hop it. What are you waiting for, sick pay? Challenge. Something troubling you, Joe? Funny. I thought something was troubling you. My brother. You got it. What's he doing mixed up with a girl like Harry Vincent for, huh? Well, uh, I guess he's got his reasons, you know. Danny's out of order, Frank. This isn't just on his stealing. It's immoral? Yeah. That's not what I signed up for. Hey, yo, put me on stage, give me a mic, give me a break. Sooner or later, all the people relate. You know the stage is my cage, your battle's on with a rampage. When you run this place, you gotta pay me a fat wage. Very impressive. So what about it? Oh, see, Pally, she'll fix you up. Joe! Deal with it. Yeah, 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 got the job. The man is an arms dealer for crying out loud. He sells weapons to the highest bidder, in this case a bunch of neo-Nazis. You're talking rubbish. The man's offered me a share in a property deal, not a squadron of F-111s. I've seen you do some low things in my time, Danny. I've stood by, God help me, I watched you commit crimes, I've covered up for you. What's brought all this on? Something some old missionary said who's been in the sun too long. The man is evil. The man has a legitimate business and African holiday complex. He's invested over 15 million pounds in those people. Those people, I don't believe this. You, 
You sound like some old-time colonialists. Those people have been put to the sword by your friend Harry. He's just protecting his patch. If I was out there, I'd have to do the same. I'd have to look after you, Carol, the kids, and the business. What, with a flamethrower? Monsignor Flynn has a dossier on your friend with photographs of some of his victims, if you care to have a look. I'm not interested. I'm investing in the future, the future for all of us. Do you want me to take the straight and narrow path? That's what I'm doing. Besides, I've given Harry my word. A deal's a deal. And for 30 pieces of silver, they bought the field of blood. And if you'll forgive the misquote, Lord. Yes? Yeah, it's Geraldine. You know you said to get in touch if I needed any help. What is it? A place for down and outs? No, it's mostly for young folk like yourself when they were in London to call their own. Down and outs? Well, I suppose it's what I am. <sighs> Why don't you go to the police about this, man? Oh. Is this it? Yeah. Here we are. You must be Geraldine. Just come with me and I'll show you around and introduce you to some of the others. Rather, uh, Frank. Uh, no, John. I think it's a good. A word. after all these years. Come, Danny, tell me what's bothering you. I can't. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. Is it Harry Vincent, isn't it? Known Harry Vincent long, your brother, has he? I, I think they went to school together. Old pals, then, go back a long way. You'll have to ask Danny. I intend to. Yeah, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually, because... I need your advice. How do you get someone to lodge a complaint when they don't want to? Elucidate. Sweet 101, make sure you get the money first. He's agreed the basic. Anything on top's up to you. <laughs> he always asks for two, thinks he can get them for the price of one. So what are you going to do about Geraldine? The girl's a born loser. But she's got no money. And she's just moved into a dropout hostel. Best place for her. Well, that fella didn't half give it a whackin'. A few bruises, that's all. Here. This should be a good one for you tonight. Very impressive. Beautiful piece of kit. Yeah, I see what you mean. What is that availability? Tomorrow, the price is right. Mind you, might be a bit too sophisticated for your lot. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, are. Everything you want and a little bit more. The ultimate in home security systems, eh? <laughs> Here's an interesting one. Attacks the central nervous system. You can half make them vomit. Then they go into a few spasms. Within two minutes of the initial contact, wallop, they're dead. How is it delivered? Is there any risk to anyone other than the target? Nah, nah. standard system. Airburst artillery shell. Not like that cock up with the viral agent. Went all over the place. And here we have good old phosphagene. Now, call me old fashioned, but I still say you can't be a chemically based anti personnel agent. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the rocket launchers? This way. Problems are compounded by the questions of I don't want anyone to know about this conversation. 
I can assure you it's confidential. Reminds me of the old days, this. Go out of confession every Friday. Only difference this time. It's the priest that's doing all the talking. And around 500,000 of these are killed every year. But who will be doing penance, I wonder? Forgive me if I misunderstood, but I felt that you came here because you had a moral dilemma. For which you devise? I don't have to tell you, surely. Are you quite sure about all this? Absolutely. You've read the dossier. I've seen the contracts, the drawings, the plans. Well, you must, of course, believe what you want to believe. But Satan comes in many guises. And I'm sure that Harry Vincent is one of them. <laughs> Arms dealer? My dear Daniel, tell me another. <laughs> you laugh too easy, Harry. If this ancient cleric wasn't such a fool, I'd sue him for every kind of defamation there is. I'd make another fortune. Are you telling me you're not involved in arms dealing? What, when I'm going to make a fortune with Silver River? Don't patronise me! All right. So there is an arms deal. But I wasn't going to say anything so as you be in the clear if anybody started asking questions. Oh, yeah, the police are really going to fall with that one, aren't they? Known villain walks into an arms deal scam believing he's buying a caravan site in the jungle. Well, isn't that almost exactly what you did? I don't expect people I went to school with to try and con me. I'm not trying to con you, Dan. There will be a complex in time. But right now, what's needed is weapons. Just another bit of business, that's all. You still stand to make a big profit. What's wrong with that? It leaves a nasty taste. I want my money back and we'll forget all about it. All right. I think you're making a big mistake, though. I can't get it for you straight away. It'll have to be tomorrow. I want it by one o'clock today. And don't let me down. Hi, Life Escort. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? You what? No, I certainly can't. I don't care what you say. Did my clients a guarantee confidentiality? Oh, please, don't exaggerate. Big, strong girl like you, don't make me laugh. Look, I'm getting annoyed now. You call me again when you're in a better mood. She doesn't want to know. So what do we do now? First, the moral scruples on your part kind of amazes me. I still think you're making a mistake, son. There you are. 200,000 quid. I'll take your word for it. We'd have been a good team, Danny. Could have taken on the world. You betrayed me, Harry. And you know the way I feel about that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Mr. Vincent is working with us, Mr. Kane. I don't believe this. There's too much at stake for scum like you to screw it up. I'm just withdrawing my investment. You see, your 200 grand wouldn't make much difference, Danny, but um, there's 20 more like you. Against four million pounds, Mr. Kane, you are very expendable. What was it we said? If you can't trust old mates, who can you trust? Well. Dead ones, Harry. Dead ones. Exactly. Epitaph for a cheap hoodlum. After all, Danny, business is business. It's the same bloke. 
Now will you see some sense and go to the police? Someone must know who he is. Someone does, but she's not talking. I always told you I'd show you the eye life. Just shut up, man. Excuse me. What? You always say a quick prayer. I've already told you I will not be bullied into betraying a client's confidentiality. Be like giving away the secrets of the confessional. Oh, don't give me that. You, madam, are just plain scared. You don't want to get involved. Too right, I don't. Look, I'm sorry I lost my temper, but what if you send another girl to this bloke? And what if he goes too far and kills her? Then you are involved, whether you like it or not, aren't you? Besides, why do this bloke a favour? What's he ever done for you, eh? Nothing. No man ever has. Well then. Right, that's it. That's enough of that. If God hasn't heard you by now, he never will. I hope you said one for me, John Joe. you an apology. You were right about Harry Vincent. The deal's off. I'm glad to hear it, because I found out something else about your ex-business partner. He doesn't just deal in weapons. He gets his kicks beating up young girls. Lovely bloke, eh? Still, I reckon I've got enough evidence to nail him now. No, Frank. If anyone's going to nail him, it's going to be me. Danny! Hey, pal. What are you doing here? I'm having a crisis of conscience. You sure it's not a crisis of booze? I only touched a drop. I'm really sorry, Danny. I, I never knew he meant to kill you. The man's evil. Well, at least I came out of it alive. As long as I get my money back, I'm going to be very happy. Oh, we better hurry up. He's buggering off back to Africa tonight. What? I, after what happened this morning, things are getting a bit hot for him. I have to take him back to the arms warehouse in Putney. He's going to clinch the deal, and then he's going to shoot the crow back to sunny Africa. Are you sure about that? I'll cross my heart and hope to die. Now, if I'll tell you exactly what to do, will you do it? Leave me to the law. I've got witnesses. Oh, no. Tam will do the business. Won't you, old pal? I need problem, Danny. I need problem. Dealing with a gentleman here, are we? He's been described as a demon. Hmm. Could have repercussions, this. I've been warned off. 
What? But, but the, the man is a woman beater and worse. Exactly. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's have him. Here we go. Not yet. Here we go. Here we go now. the description almost causing a serious accident westbound near Putney. Putney? Oh. Oh. One curious detail though. Mm -hmm. Seems another car was involved. A Saab. Like your brother drives. Huh? What's he? Oh dear, oh dear. Quite. Danny. Okay. Now. Yeah, what the hell is that thing, man? What the hell one to go? Assuming that my brother is involved, uh, might we come to some sort of um, arrangement? Are you attempting to plea bargain? I cannot tell a lie. Mm hmm. Well, Cam did mention that this arms dealer is operating out of a warehouse which is near Putney. Beautiful day to be by the river, don't you think? God, that's Kane. Uh, he's dead keen to see you off, isn't he? Lose him. Uh, that might just not be possible, pal. Now, Tam can just keep his act together. Come on, you know you like driving fast. Oh, uh, well, maybe I do. Well, maybe you're a bit scared to on a road like this. I mean, don't be ashamed to say so. I'm not afraid of nothing, pal. Well, prove it, pal. This isn't going to pull the land on it. Where are they? They're gone. All right, just stop there. Stop it. 
Let him know he's not the only boy with a toy. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I just killed a man. No sign of a wound. Natural causes. Heart attack. Caused by your driving, no doubt. But a bit of luck, you'll get down to manslaughter. It wasn't my fault. This is yours, I believe. Why did you do what I told you? I forgot. Forgot? What do you mean you forgot? I forgot! I don't believe this. But well, why shouldn't Frank just turn up, John Joe? Oh, ye of little baby. Sharproof top. Poor devil never stood a chance. God moves in mysterious ways. Just this once, Kane. I'm not going to ask any questions. That's good, because I haven't got any answers. You've got five minutes to get out of here, starting now. Fair enough. Hey, what about me? My car's stuck. Holy aye aye. I I'm traumatized. Oh, call the Samaritans. I'm unemployed, Mr. Nesbitt. Graham, Tam. I'll call the AA. Will you be wanting me again? Because if not, I'll... Uh... I know where to find you if I need you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Mr. Nesbitt. Thanks. I never give up on you, Danny. Never. Even though you do seem to attract these uh, situations. Well, maybe I can't help it. Maybe it's the way God made me. There's nothing you, me, or anyone else can do about it. Free will, free will, Danny. You've never heard about it? Oh, get over. Just the way God made me. I'm deeply shocked with a fatalistic remark and totally against the teachings of the Catholic Church. A gangster brother I can just about deal with. But a Protestant gangster? 